Hey guys, today we are talking all about our spring essentials. What's up guys, welcome back to Gen Slimes. I'm George, this is Blake. If you have not hit that subscribe button yet, please do that right now, it really, really helps us out. We are here every week talking about men's fashion, lifestyle, and everything in between. And today we are talking about spring essentials. So before we jump into the video and before we run off these lists of things that you need to have for spring, remember guys, you can get away with a constant classic wardrobe of you know dark jeans and classic t-shirts. These are just some items to sprinkle in your already common wardrobe and then add a little flair for the season. So dude, when I think of spring, I think of uh, like rain, but I also think of sunshine. I think of like the trees starting to like really blossom and it, like it looks nice. You could see a little bit of like what summer's gonna be, but you know, still a little bit of the winter is, is there, you know? So what I like to do is be prepared, guys. So something like a rain jacket is something that I, I always, always have during this time of the year because you never know when it's gonna rain during spring. And when we say raincoat, guys, we mean something with water resistant material. You don't need your yellow fisherman's no. classic raincoat to be that raincoat. Basically, you know, you can get a water resistant bomber, a water resistant trench coat, pretty much anything that has more of like a nylon material will be good for the elements and you know, the, the spring showers. And just a little plug, I found mine at, I think it was TJ Maxx. So I know they, oh, it was at Marshall's but they have very inexpensive like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross, places that you would you typically wouldn't shop at. That's where I went I got mine for cheap, dude, so. So now I'm almost doing a 180 from what the rain jacket is. When I think of spring, I think of swim trunks. Yeah, guys, I remember growing up in Pennsylvania where winter is very, very, very heavy. <laughs> um, so basically as soon as the temperature got above 55 degrees, we would go to the lake and you know, sometimes there would still be ice on the lake and we would do like a kind of a cold dive. So it's always nice to have a good pair of swim trunks and you can kind of like pre-prep for summer by getting in on some of the earlier trends and getting yeah. your swim trunks ready for the June, July and August. Um, it's definitely not something that you necessarily need, but it's good to have a cool pair of swim trunks from the beginning of spring for summer. And up next on our list, guys, we have loafers. So to me, a loafer is a total, total spring summer shoe. I wouldn't wear a loafer eight out of 10 times in the winter. You know, I feel like one, your sock is exposed or two, you're wearing no-show socks, so your foot is exposed. Um, to me, it's just an, uh, like a staple for spring. All right, so now I also think of white pants. So right now I'm wearing white denim, but they could be white trousers, anything white. No, white is, classic kind of warm weather denim. So you don't really need to pay attention to the rules of Labor Day and Memorial Day yes, and yes. all that. If it's nice out, white pants are a go. If it's crappy out, don't wear white pants because they're probably gonna get more dirty than normal. <laughs> That's it. All right guys, and up next on the list is kind of just general colors. So pastel light colors, think, you know, Easter colors. Yes. This is pretty much the spring staple because you, you've you just been wearing like kind of dark colors and browns and heavy fabrics for winter. So this is kind of like just a quick refresher. Now, granted, I wouldn't recommend building your whole closet full of pastels just for spring. It makes no sense. But you know, having a little sprinkle of two or three shirts or shorts or some sort of accents yes. that are pastel colors are perfect to pull out during these spring months. All right, guys, and up next on the list is Chelsea boots. Now, Granted, you can probably wear a leather Chelsea boot yeah. all year round, but if you have a suede Chelsea boot, you most likely don't want to get them too wet or too dirty with snow and weather. But when spring comes around, the sun comes out, suede Chelsea boots are perfect because they go with everything else we just said on yeah, the list, yeah. like pastels, light pants. I think it just kind of adds a little sophistication to, to almost any look. Yeah, so I like to wear my Chelsea boots. I like to go for like a suede or or almost like a desert boot, Chelsea boot hybrid. And I wear them for like Coachella or any like fest, any music festival in general. And it just kind of elevates the outfit and it gives like a good spring vibe. All right guys, and last but not least on the list, I think polos are yeah. something that is perfect for spring because they're kind of a little classier version of a t-shirt. I think brands these days are doing very cool 70s inspired polos. Um, I think I've been rocking them for like the last <laughs> four years and I've been telling you guys that they are awesome and they are the trend. Oh, yeah, they this are. is kind of this a little elastic band. I got one from Lacoste on right now, but I just got a newsletter from Suit Supply 
and they have the sickest polos this season Do that they? I'm I haven't even seen it, so I'm like, whoa! I'm like, I'll, I want to. I'll, I'll pull up the the polos because I'm sure they're gonna sell out. But they've got you know some linen blends, some nice. cotton blends, um, different kind of cuts of the collar. They're just, dude. And you know what? The beauty of a polo is that you could dress it up like with trousers, super dressy. Even throw a blazer over it, and it's okay because it's spring summer. But you could also wear them with trunks and yeah. like to the pool, hang out, like have a margarita, and it's perfect. It looks so nice. Yes, guys. So today I am wearing this Lacoste polo, which is 70s inspired. This is literally from their decade collection. So this is the 70s version really, I have. Really cool. Yes. And then I put on a pair of just slim blue trousers and a pair of classic white sneakers just to kind of keep the look casual but classy. And you know, this is going to be a perfect look for pretty much any time <laughs> yeah. in spring. If you have a job where you can have a little more fun with your outfit, this is perfect for work but it's also perfect for like hanging out on the weekends. Yeah. All right guys, that pretty much wraps the video of our spring essentials. Remember, you can mix these items into your regular rotation of your wardrobe already. You don't necessarily need to buy certain spring outfits, but these items are little accents that are gonna make a outfit feel just a little more seasonally appropriate. Now, you know, you can still wear dark denim with a polo, you can yeah. wear dark denim with a Cuban shirt, you can wear dark denim with a Chelsea boot, but you know, if you have a pastel something up on top, yeah. it looks a little more spring. So remember guys, mix and match these items into items you already have. Don't go out and buy specific items for specific seasons because you're going to have a very <laughs> unorganized wardrobe and a big closet where you nothing goes together. So I hope this information was helpful to you. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, please do that right now. If you haven't followed us on Instagram over at Jens Lounge, give us a follow over there and we will see you on the next one. Cheers, Cheers. guys.